We are back with our GMA cover story. One teen is sharing how she cut down on her social media use, telling us what she learned and what she wants other kids and parents to know about taking control of your screen time. Ariel Reshef has the story. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you guys. There's a lesson for all of the us in this one. Uh, Kate says that she feels a huge sense of relief, a weight off her shoulders since breaking her grip on social media. Now she's speaking out about why at 17 she proactively gave up the apps and encouraged other teens to do the same. Like much of Gen Z, 17-year-old Kate Romaluski says for years she was hooked to her phone, spending hours scrolling on social media. I would just lay in the same position for like easily six hours, seven hours straight. And afterwards, I just felt like such a zombie. But this morning, the New York City teen is opening up about how and why she dramatically cut back. When someone has a hundred million millions of followers and they look a certain way act a certain way and are this standard of beauty almost i just immediately interpret that as the reason I don't have those things is because I'm not good enough and I'm not pretty enough. Kate decided to download an app called Opal, which helps limit screen usage. First, plugging in some info about her habits. The results? They gave me the statistic that I was on track to spend 17 years of my life on my phone by the time I turned like 60 or 70. And that was my biggest wake up call. The teen says she was shaken, deciding not only was her social media a drain on her time, but on her happiness. Earlier this year, the Surgeon General warning up to 95% of young people ages 13 to 17 reported using a social media platform and more than a third saying they use social media almost constantly. Adding with adolescence and childhood representing a critical stage in brain development that can make young people more vulnerable to harms from social media. When I'm not constantly scrolling through social media, I feel like there's just like a huge weight off my shoulders. Experts say limiting the amount of time kids spend in front of a screen is critical for their mental well-being. Number one, set reasonable limits. Explain to your kids that social media use should never interfere with school activities, homework, meals, or sleep. And lastly, talk openly with your teen about your concerns and the risks of too much social media use. You heard Kate say it, 17 years on social media. Kate's dad says he has noticed this sense of empowerment in her. And Kate tells us the first few days without social media were a bit of anxiety producing. Um, but And she had a little bit of that FOMO that you can imagine, but that quickly turned to relief. She says that she still uses social media once in a while, but she's removed those apps from her phone. Sometimes she will download them again if her friends say they want to share something with her, and then she gets rid of them. She says she feels so much more in tune with herself and less pressure to keep up with those unrealistic images and standards. Kind of a lesson in all of this. I think I might try this. Yeah, yeah, we can all learn her. a lot from Kate. Ariel, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.